Hello and welcome to Legion Outpost. I am John Riley and I'm glad you're tuning in today. This is the video is going to be talking about what AMG is really good at or Atomic Mass Game is really good at. Um, this is not a recap of the rules. This is not talking about um, the second edition or, or the 2.6 edition. Um, this is actually going to be looking at uh, the future of Star Wars Legion. And so um, I'm not going to get into the whether I like the rules or don't like the rules. Um, I'm going to just say one thing. I only wish that they would have told us the truth that this is a change of a game. This is because it's not Star Wars Legion as you know it. It is new. It's um, it's a new game basically, uh, and it may be better. I really like the old game, but only time will tell on that. But let's get into the things that I think that Atomic Mass games are really good at, and one of those things I think they're really good at is um, making models. They make some incredible models. Uh, they since they've taken over the game from um, Legion. I mean, Fantasy Flight Flame, Fa Fantasy Flight Games. Uh, they have done some incredible models. Now, mind you, they were moving into hard plastic around the same time, which um, kind of helped because hard plastic is way better than the old soft plastic that we uh, had to deal with. And you know, you pull out your old Luke, and he's got that lightsaber that's kind of darting off, bending off to the one side. Um, but so they had the better material to work with, but they've done a great job. If you look at their their games as a whole, um, they've done a really good job of making models and uh, putting out new product. And so let's today in this video take a look at some of the things coming up in this future roadmap. And so we have right here the crab droids and uh, the crab droids are, are kind of exciting. I'm not going to get into all the cards. You can see it right on the on the things. Um, I just love the model and the model looks really good uh, as far as as upgrades. They're a lot like a more mobile sp um, spider droid, spider dwarf droid. Uh, they have the scout and scouting party, which makes them kind of a bit more mobile, especially in this new game. Um, the fact that they can have somebody start scouting party gives somebody else a little further on to the way the deployment of the new game. But I'm not going to get into all the rules here. Uh, but if you look at this, it, they're a very, very, very nice model. And um, I'm, I, I look forward to seeing them on the battlefield. They're not overly expensive at 70 points. Um, and they seem to fit that droid kind of model mentality uh, and with the new AI system which is brand new um, it will uh, we'll see how these play and it'll be exciting now also coming up for the the separatist alliance uh, there there's nothing announced just so you know for the scum and villainy the um, shadow collective or uh, whatever the, the real faction that they are is a mercenary faction there's no new mercenary faction items announced so I'm just going to cover the four main factions today um, and then uh, so next is the aqua droids. Now these are sped to be massive. They look big. They're on a uh, fairly large base and uh, I can't wait to see how they play and how they design them. Uh, the strength of, of AMG has not been the game design part of things, um, but their actual product design has been really good. Uh, some of the rules and the keywords they bring out sometimes leave me wanting more or, and I will talk, we'll talk about that in a second when we, when we uh, take a look at, at a couple other units and take a closer look at the couple of the other units coming up. And so that's um, the Aqua Droids. And so next coming up that we have for the droids, uh, well, I don't have it here, but General Grievous, they're gonna re-sculpt General Grievous. Um, they're probably gonna re-sculpt the B2s. We don't have anything on that yet. Um, but they're also doing General Grievous on his Willy bike, which is kind of cool because it gives you the mounted hero thing. And I know people have been asking for that. So they're listening to us and giving us that mounted hero uh, thing that we wanted. And, and we'll talk more about that a little later because I'm sure we're going to see a lot of mounted heroes um, coming up. There's, there's some really good um, stuff that we can pull out of canon that would be really cool even as far as like uh the we can get into like uh din Djarin on that little lizardy thing and and there's so much more uh but next um there is ahsoka coming uh two forms of ahsoka ahsoka padawan and ahsoka um commander and this is gonna be exciting because you get you'll have two different models and you'll have two different ways of playing her and the padawan will be playing kind of as as you know 
Anakin's sidekick, and I'm sure there's going to be some cool uh, interaction between them. And then the commander uh, is going to be when she's just a little older, and you're going to probably interact a lot with Rex and stuff like that. I'm excited to see where they go with there, um, the, the narrative part of it, but also the way the game parts fit together. Um, I'm not loving where um, any of the uh, hero units are or leaders or operative units are right now because uh, the way the game plays is way more bloodbath. Um, and so when I've been reading through this, I just don't think heroes are going to be long on the table um, in the new way of playing the game. So the next thing we got up is uh, the ARF Troopers. I don't want to get mixed up with the ARC Troopers, but the ARF Troopers. And the ARF Troopers, uh, oh, they're kind of nice looking. I like the, the different helmet style. And they, they seem to have um, a few of the different heavy weapons that you've seen in other units. Um, and then you have the um, general looking Jedi. And he, from the other artwork they put up before, he looks like he can have a couple different heads. They did say that he would have three different ways of wielding a jet lightsaber, so double bladed double uh, two-handed and then single-handed so there's three different poses for lightsabers and from what I looked at there was a couple different heads too uh, in the old render so I'm, I'm assuming they're going to keep the different heads for him in the final product but the way they painted him here, here is uh, very nice they did a good job on the way they painted him and uh, he looks good and uh, I'm looking forward to see how he interacts and I know that they said that he can also the generic Jedi can also interact with the art troopers um, so it'll be kind of see how cool to see how he can jump into those squads and what we got there uh, the next we have the clone uh, trooper marksmen. Now these marksmen units, um, we're going to get a little more talking about them in a minute when we get into the rebels. But um, this this just looks like they kind of reworked um, phase ones and phase twos because they took away, got rid of phase ones and phase twos and made them one. And now this is kind of saying, hey, these are a little different. So I, I don't know. It just it's going to be a long range unit. They're going to be shooting range four probably. Um, but couldn't they just kind of rework the phase twos to do that and kept some differences? I, I, I'm not big on what they did with the phase ones and phase twos yet. But that, that, but that's maybe just because I don't know where they're going in the whole space because I haven't really talked a lot about that. Um, and then we have... Uh, I thought there would be more. Am I missing? Oh, they did, did, did do Obi Wan, and uh, redid him, and um, we'll see a couple other little things. And I'm sure you're going to get a hero pack because we've seen that with the Rebels and the Imperials. We'll get to in a second. Uh, this is the Riot Control Squad. Uh, this is kind of really cool. Um, this gives you a different way of playing stormtroopers. Uh, the white dice is still bad. The black um, melee dice is kind of cool, um, and they have. Uh, on that black melee dice, they have um, suppression. Uh, suppressive, I couldn't get that out. Uh, I like the fact that you, for 30 points, you get two of these droids, which give red dice to your melee. And uh, that's kind of cool. they got a, a kind of a cool hitting. They're, they're going to hit pretty good. Like, you're looking at four, five if you have the heavy gun, black, and two red in melee. So that's like seven dice. Uh, with suppressive and so I, I think that's kind of it's kind of a it's kind of a good dice pool and it's gonna, they're gonna look great I, to be honest I would buy them just for the way they look they look amazing I'd probably buy two of them because I think it'd be cool, really cool and the, the droid part of it the those those um, k2 units they look amazing and so the, as I said this is where they're really shine AMG is really good at making the models and um, for nothing else, I just like it for that because then I can buy all these models. Even if I play the old way or if I play the new way, um, I'll probably play both ways uh, in the future. But the uh, the artwork is really good. Now, here's where I come into that card placement thing. And and uh, so you got your marksman and he's pretty expensive and he takes up an action. So if you have to move, and you're only going to shoot. You're only shoot with him. The thing is, it's a direct hit. So these guys are kind of geared to taking out leaders. 
Um, so you can do direct hits on the leaders, like you throw this one dice into Vader and maybe take a direct hit off of Vader where he doesn't get saves or doesn't get any way of protecting himself. Uh, and you combine that with a couple units, maybe three of these units, you can do three damage on a leader in one round. Um, so there is benefits to that. Um, or if they're already gotten to the objective, because now every single objective is the exact same. Uh, different places on the board, but the exact same. It's all area control, pretty much. Uh, there's one different ones, uh, but it's very area control, um, and so you're gonna, there's no real strategy to the objective. So really, you're going to get to the spot, push people off, and kill as much as you, units you can. And so if you're already there, and you can just shoot with your whole unit, and then shoot him into another uh, target, you know, maybe shoot like some rebels, put some suppression on them, and then shoot a rebel leader or whatever. You know what I mean. And uh, so, but overall, for the cost, I'm not sure I'd take them. I'd have to see how he plays, and I'm not liking it. I'm not loving it. Uh, then we have the remake of the Stormtroopers, and they look good. I can't say much other than that. They look good. Um, not sure how about these big units and how, if I'm going to play them as multiple units, or I'd rather get the two activations. I probably will not buy many of these Stormtroopers, to be honest, because... Um, I have eight units of Stormtroopers now. So, don't really need more Stormtroopers, but um, I might buy one. Well, I will buy one just for the way it looks. Uh, because, as I said, AMG's doing their good work of making great models. Now, here's the thing. Scout Troopers, they're redoing them. I don't like them. I prefer the old ones, even though they're soft plastics. Uh... I'm not moved by this. these models. They don't look good. They look just meh. Average. This is probably one of AMG's worst sculpts, in my opinion. Well, let me know what you think. You might love them, but I just don't like them. don't like the way they look. Uh, Vader, uh, definitely a better pose for Vader. I'm definitely a better pose for General Veers. These are uh, very good uh, poses and I'm glad to see them putting them out in a pack of two and you, some people are like well why are they getting only two and the rebels got a bunch of people well because um, I'm assuming when the rebels get their high command it's only gonna be two in their high command um, because the, a rebel have the other one that has a bunch of the leaders but here's the problem you give us all these new leaders but we still can't play all the leaders together uh, because they haven't changed the force org uh, and so how you organize the forces yet and so that might well they have slight changes like you can get a lot more core units now because um your your uh, units like your mortars don't count against your cap if you've got short troopers so there you can get a lot more um and so but uh these guys these guys i'm excited for these i've I've always wanted Thrawn. I've, I, most particularly, I've always wanted Grand Moff Tarkin. I, I love. I've read the Tarkin book. I just love the way he's so evil. He's like the true bad guy. He's the bad guy, bad guy. And uh, so yeah, I'm excited for this. I'm really excited for this to be honest. Uh, one of them probably this was the second most exciting thing uh, for me when it came to the um, new stuff that AMG put out. And then we're getting into Rebels. And I'm a Rebel player, so I love Rebels. Uh, the Rebel Commandos look great. The heads look great. And the fact that you can interchange the heads with all the new ones with some slight modifications, they said. <coughs> this is going to be quite exciting because, um, yeah, I'm going to buy probably two of these packs. Uh, that'll bring my Rebels Commandos up to four. And then that way I should be able to play, if I ever want to play, three, and three full units and three... Um, smaller detachment units, uh, then I can play six Rebel Commandos. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this. They, they look good, that's why. Um, the Rebel Troopers, again, they look really good. I'm going to buy at least one, maybe two of these. <coughs> and uh, I like what they did with the card, too. With giving them Agile, it makes them um, way better because you can actually play them. And they, you know... Having that dodge in a game where cover doesn't really mean much anymore. Um, statistically, the cover kind of sucks now. And so in order to get your old heavy cover, you basically have to be defending against six hits. And so the math is really bad. Um, yeah, it's going to be a bloodbath. 
and uh, sleeper cell look great uh, what can I say about this I love the droid giving an extra dodge that's really handy in this situation um, because they have nimble again uh, that's a good rebel keyword um, Scout 2 is going to be handy if you look at all the new guys that they're putting out uh, they all have some sort of um, early activation thing like scout or infiltrate or something because uh, they realize now with the way that you're entering into the game um, this is important and this gives them a good range into especially with only a range 2 weapon uh, this really helps them get uh, really close to uh, to the other units and do some damage and that as I said the dodge is going to help the rebel marksman 29 points I think he's useless but that's the same reason I was talking about earlier for the, the Imperial unit. I just don't see myself spending an activation to do this. And I know it's an automatic hit if you hit those. Um, it does say dice on here, which is kind of weird because if it's just surge and crit, it doesn't matter that type of dice. But that's just one of those things that I'm, I'm thinking, like, why do they put the dice color on there? Um, and uh, they did the same for the Imperial one. Um, so maybe if, it, if there's a hit there, then it's a little more powerful, then I would think more about it. So if it's like hit, surge, and block, then I'd be thinking about it, because you're like, whoa, now we got 50-50 chance of getting a hit, and not just a 33% uh, chance of getting a hit, uh, and costing me a full action, when there is only going to be a total of eight actions in a game for a unit now. So you take away one action of those eight, just to use it once, if you use it twice, you're paying 29 to use it so you're gonna want to use it twice three times just the map doesn't add up i don't like the design space of that gun and the way a amg's done that um and so then we get on to the rebel heroes of the rebellion and again i said this is great but you can't play them all together well you couldn't anyways because of luke's uh actually these four you could play together but you, no you can't <coughs> you could play them as long as you're playing operative luke um, but I really think Rebels need to have a in their Force Org where you can pick any four or any five leaders. Um, and you, that gives you, like, you don't have to operative heroes. They just open one to five. I think Rebels are really playing towards heroes. And so why not really let them play towards heroes and say Re Rebels one to five? But that's just my thought. But that's a whole different game to space. And then the probably the thing that I think I'm most excited for, um, mainly because of the models. I don't even play my Tauntauns now, but now New Rules Tauntauns are actually really good again. Really, really good again. Um, but anyways, the reality here is, um, yeah, I don't really play my my Tauntauns, but these will look so cool. Nothing like seeing Luke Skywalker on a Tauntaun with lightsaber blazing. And uh, I think that the whole um, switch to... Having leaders being on mounts again, it gives us, I think it's great. Uh, some of the things that they announced um, in the past weren't on this mini scrap. Uh, uh, there's a train pack, and there's uh, they showed uh, General Grievous and, and Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, so they got a lot of cool models coming out. And as you, you saw, there is a great timeline. We got a lot of time here. Uh, nothing's coming out real quick and they've got some card packs that they talked about which we're going to see and that'll be all the upgrades and then you're going to really see the game transition from um the old legion to the new legion with all the new card packs and stuff um some things i think they missed on um i think that they missed on when they haven't announced and i'm sure they're going to do it i hope they do factioned um starter packs like a couple core units and something else so you can buy a car pack battle pa pack or whatever just kind of like they did with the the uh echo base defenders and stuff i thought that was a really good thing and if they could do that again i think that's a good space they could be in and i think that would help the game continue to grow um they're going to need all the tokens that they the new tokens and new game board and everything um the new ruler uh those all have to come out um and they didn't mention anything about that but I, i'm sure those will come out because otherwise they're just leaving money good money in your wallet and uh, I don't think they want to do that as a company. And I think a lot of this uh, game mechanics might even be because they want to make more money because um, the parent company saddled the, the the parent company of AMG got saddled with a lot of debt. And so they need to make money and they got to make it quick. Uh, but I love this game and I will continue 
to uh, support the game and I look forward to the future. I am going to do a video very soon on the new rules and break down in my thoughts and I'm going to try to get a game together and record it so you can see um, how it plays. And thank you guys for watching this far. Uh, may the force be with you and may you have a great, great time playing Legion. Thanks and like, subscribe and comment. It really helps.